Hey everyone, I'm back, and today we're going to be talking about The Happening, and this movie is directed by M. Night Shyamalan, starring Mark Wahlberg and Zoe Deschanel, and I thought this movie was terrible, but a good, funny, bad movie. <laughs> like, I had a good time, I was laughing at it a decent amount, and I can see myself rewatching this movie just to destroy it and just to have a good time laughing at it because it's so bad and I'm sure you all knew this movie was bad and <laughs> it has I guess an a somewhat okay idea but in execution it's just terrible and all over the place I literally identify characters in this movie as just things that they say in the movie like Mark Wahlberg's character I identify him as science man basically because he's always saying, take an interest in science. And I always have found that to be pretty funny. I know it's not like spam throughout the entire movie, but it is pretty funny. There's also a character that uh, has a weird scene where he's just talking about hot dogs. And we also have a character that instead of just saying, oh my God, or whatever, or saying an alternate word it, uh, that normally would say, goodness gracious or whatever, in this film, he just says, cheese and crackers. <laughs> and it's really funny. The directing in this movie is not good. There's way too many close shots, and you can barely see the location at points, or even what room characters are in. And it just feels very claustrophobic in a way that does not benefit the film. The dialogue in this movie is terrible. No one talks like a real person, but that's kind of what I like about it, is that... It just goes with it, and I have a great time watching it. <laughs> There's zero characters in this movie that I found to be likable or interesting. Like, beyond a surface level, I guess. <laughs> and they're all pretty irritating, and there's no one to latch onto in this entire film. The acting is terrible. Mark Wahlberg, throughout the entire film, he kind of uh, looked like he was confused as to like what he was supposed to be doing. <laughs> Zoe Deschanel in this movie kept reminding me of Dakota Johnson from both Madam Web and the Fifty Shades trilogy. And not just uh, because of her hair, which was a bit distracting, but also just the way she acted. And it just felt uh, very underplayed and like, okay, I'm just here waiting for a paycheck. And the way she was delivering lines, I found to be pretty funny. The death scenes in this movie are hilarious in this movie. <laughs> and in any other film, you would expect to be somewhat disturbing. But because of uh, how it, it's shown and how it's performed, it just comes across as goofy. Mostly because the build-up to these deaths just comes out of nowhere. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, that's probably just enough uh, just to have something happen out of nowhere because it makes it unpredictable. But unfortunately, that's not the case here. In this movie, with it happening out of nowhere and no build-up to it or just showing it properly, it all just feels wrong and in all of the worst ways possible. The movie also shows way too much of the death scenes. Like in any other movie, you would cut away from something so it doesn't look goofy. But in this movie, they just show the entire thing of how a character died and... The way it's uh, shown is just so goofy, and you could have just shown less of it, not just showing uh, how they died, and just implied, and uh, give you a good enough of an idea of how they died, and that would have worked fine. But instead, they just show you the whole thing, and it just looks goofy. The music in this movie was overused. It was in so many scenes that just did not need it at all. And also, I just found it distracting that it could have just uh, been used every once in a while when there was no dialogue, but instead it's playing over top when characters are talking at points, and it just ruins everything for me. <laughs> and that's about all I have to say about The Happening. It's terrible, one of M. Night Shyamalan's worst films from an objective standpoint, but as far as entertainment goes, it's entertaining enough for, for me to want to revisit. There are so many scenes in this movie that I would love to come back to, just because they're so funny. 
I love uh, the cheese and crackers guy. Uh, that was pretty funny. And as far as things that I enjoyed unironically about the movie, it, it, nothing. There wasn't anything that I liked, unfortunately. And there are still some films from M. Night uh, Shyamalan that I haven't seen yet. I haven't seen Old Knock at the Cabin or Trap, his three latest films. And the other two that I haven't seen are The Last Airbender and The Village. Those five I haven't seen. The rest of them I have. Like as far as movies that people care about and know that it's like a, after The Sixth Sense, basically. I think he did something before it. I forget the name of it. But anyways, uh, check this movie out if you like funny bad movies. Uh, if you want a serious movie, then don't check this movie out. As far as like being able to enjoy it unironically, like that's not going to happen. So check this movie out if you want a good laugh. Like laughing at the movie. So with all that being said, I'm going to give The Happening a 1 out of 10. But I would recommend it if you like funny bad movies. Just keep that in mind. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below you thought of The Happening and my social media links. They will all be in the description, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Fully Nation, and I'll see you when I get my next review up, and that is going to be for House of Gucci. So look forward to that, but until I get that up, thank you for watching, and have a great day. What? No.